The marketplace good idea is about the transformation of the New Zealand police from a monocultural organisation into an organisation that now has an appreciation of diversity, that has a much more richer understanding of uh, cultural difference, has an appreciation of the value of bringing into the organisation officers from different ethnic origins who are now the face of a changing demographic within New Zealand. So we have undertaken significant steps over the last 15 years to change the mindset of the New Zealand police as an organisation that truly embraces the philosophy of community policing to reflect uh, the makeup of our communities. Part of that uh, mindset shift is to ensure that we work closely with key leaders within our communities. Uh, the changing demographics in New Zealand through to 2026 is going to look significantly different uh, from the New Zealand we know today and the New Zealand that we know uh, from yesterday. So an organisation like the New Zealand Police where new migrants look to trust and have confidence in an organisation that they can feel safe, feel protected, uh, participate in solutions relevant to their communities. Uh, they want to trust an organisation like police. Many migrant communities coming to our country have expressed through surveys that the countries of origin that they come from, there is little trust, they are frightened of their police, uh, they are reluctant to speak about issues such as family violence, such as uh, underage marriages, forced marriages, mutilation, uh, those types of issues, uh, religious and cultural um, issues that, that uh, may be a part of, their, of who they are, but not readily accepted by a majority culture in a new country. And I believe that the New Zealand Police, through their cultural transformation, is an organisation that has had the courage uh, the innovation to work closely with communities and rather than rhetoric, uh, truly have an understanding of what working in partnership uh, really means. I think this positions the New Zealand Police uh, very strongly for an organisation that is managing risk and that is embracing cultures of respective backgrounds. So that's my marketplace of good ideas. Well, the cultural transformation that I've just talked about has been about uh, the respect for different communities that live in, live in New Zealand. So a part of that transformation has been to recruit police officers from different ethnic backgrounds, again, so that uh, part of that community policing philosophy is that they can work with their communities, they have the same cultural connections to those, those communities. So over the last uh, 10, 15 years, we have uh, undertaken re recruiting campaigns that have brought into the organisation our first African uh, police officers. Uh, we, during the Christchurch earthquake, we only had one Japanese-speaking police officer. I think we have now three Japanese-speaking police officers, and that will increase. We have several Chinese police officers. Uh, and I guess in the last 10 years, our organisation has gone from about 80 ethnic officers to 200. Now that's not too bad in, in a, such a short time. When you think about 170 years of policing in New Zealand and Māori being the indigenous culture, we have 1,200 police officers in the organisation. Now, 1,200, you might say that's good, but over 170 years of policing, we must get better. So. Our response from a Māori perspective has been to increase the diversity of the organisation and as a consequence of those efforts, we were able to pull together 12 dynamic police officers from respective backgrounds who were able to speak 12 different languages, Hindi, Punjabi, Mandarin, Cantonese, Korean, and those 12 police officers had that cultural connectedness to the victims of the Christchurch earthquake where 70 of those who were killed were international students from Japanese, uh, Chinese, Filipino, Korean extraction. And they were able to comfort the victim families when they came to New Zealand. So how has that all changed? The 
increased diversity of the organisation and the willingness of the executive of the New Zealand Police to understand the value of bringing in different ethnic officers into the organisation has paid huge dividends. The New Zealand Police stepped up onto the international stage in terms of its ability to meet the needs of victim families from different countries during the Christchurch earthquake. That was a testimony to the work that we had started from 1996 through to 2011. So that was the, the huge cultural shift for an organisation such as police.